Hi, welcome to another episode of Perthman Shootouts. I'm sorry you've been gone for some time. I've been busy in the studio lately, but that's never a bad thing. Anyway, this episode is going to be about bass guitars, specifically the Fender Jazz Bass and the Fender Precision Bass. Now, these two basses are probably the most popular in the market because they just really fit all types of music. And I chose these two because, you know, they virtually look alike. So what's really the difference between the two, you know? I mean, is the Fender Jazz just for jazz music? Is the Precision Bass just for precision music? Anyway, a little bit about my bass guitars is first one is a Fender Jazz. It's a 1988 model, all stock. Didn't change anything. For the Precision Bass, it's a 1977 model. I just changed the pickup to the Marzio Model P. I also changed the fretboard to rosewood and the bridge to a high mass bridge. Other than that, it's all stock. Um, the wood is all original. I'd like to thank Mr. Romel de la Cruz for guesting my show. This show is dedicated to all the bass players out there. You may not get the girl, you may not get the solo but they sure as hell need us, so enjoy! Thank you, Roman, for coming, for thank doing you, the test. The audience want to know a little bit more about you. Can you share? I started playing bass my third year high school. We formed a band with my high school friends. And eventually, I became their bass player by default because everyone bought their guitars, their drums, and no one wanted to play the bass. And I think <laughs> that's the case for many bass players. Yes, yes, exactly. How about bands? What were your bands from before and who are you playing for now? I became professional when I was 19. Mm -hmm. I was playing with FOJ. It was a girl group but they needed a bass player for their club gigs. And I dropped out of college to pursue my dream, which is to play music professionally. And it's been 18 years. How about your current band? Who are you playing for? I'm playing with Freestyle right okay. now. I've been with them for 7 years. I do have my side side project is like a funk band we write our own songs and my beetle cover band oh, the, the eggman the eggman <laughs> so search it on facebook so you're a session bass player that was actually my my when i was starting to play the bass you know, to play for different people so tell us about your gear i play exclusively f bass f bass it's a custom bass from Canada, George Furlaneto, and he make amazing bass. The BN5 F bass. How about Fenders? Have you had uh, your share of Fenders? Yeah, Fender, of course. Fender is uh, the holy grail of the bass sound. Leo Fender invented the electric bass. Right after that, the whole recording scene exploded, and that's the most familiar sound that we can hear on radios and the hits and everything until now. It's the Fender sound. You've used jazz basses and you've used precision. Precision. Okay. But you use F bass exclusively. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so you're unbiased. Unbiased. <laughs> okay. So since we did the test, can you tell us some of the ob- obvious characteristics for the jazz bass first? The character of the jazz bass more silky lows, okay. booming lows, and a little deep on the mids, and the highs is more present. And sa classic recordings, you can hear the difference between the precision and jazz. The jazz is a little softer, but penetrating. So would you say the jazz bass was made for solo players? Like, they designed the jazz bass for solos? I think Fender wanted a more para open sound. But then eventually, the, the solo players, Jaco Pastorius, mm-hmm. Larry Graham, doing the slapping, popping thing, which became synonymous with the jazz bass. Mm-hmm. First, uh, Fender invented the position during the time when basses were complaining that they couldn't be heard in an orchestra. Oh, okay. The upright bass. Leo Fender was you know, watching the whole the whole scene. How can I make the bass player go up front and dance with the oh. horn section? Then right after that, he, he designed the which became the precision. That's why the, the sound that you can hear from the precision is nearly identical with the upright, the tom, the, the presence of notes. What would you say would, is the more versatile bass between the two? Like if you Versa- only had a choice between one of those to, to have your own? Probably the jazz. Because you, you can get the, the precision sound out of the neck pickup. Of the jazz bass, yeah, yeah. What is it that you particularly like about the jazz bass and the precision bass? I'm a fan of Jacob, Jacob Astorius, okay. and from time to time I want I want to hear or play with the bass pickup, okay. you know, the honky burpee sound. Plus, it, you can get to the mix live or on stage, you can get more sounds out of it. And the neck is easier to play it's because it's, it's play, th- yeah. thinner, right? Yeah. Thinner on the lower, lower. Okay. What about the precision? For me, it's more parang organic, very organic. You plug it in, volume tone, okay. and you get a good sound. The more you dig in with the precision, you, you get this untamed animal coming out <laughs> <Okay>. of the... <laughs> that's the precision for me. Because right. you can get good pick sounds, or the sl- slap sound is very different too with the precision. Yes, yes. Actually, the slap sound sounds kind of tame on the precision, right? Because it doesn't have that presence. Yeah, yung, yeah, yeah, yeah. The highs. You know, but it has a different sound. I'll give you a bass and then I'll give you a drum machine and then try to play along with it. Different music styles, okay? I have this drum machine here. <laughs> it's already <laughs> prepared. <laughs> Stand by for our next ep- next episode our next, next episode. week, which is round round one and flat one strings. Uh, thank you, thank Robel. You, thank you. Uh, see you again next that week. Was a good <laughs>